there was just one more. He was last, but he was not least. He was Pixies? No. He was. <laughs> Alright, we got bad handwriting, so we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. We're gonna do it right now. <laughs> not Pixies, but. Pisces. Yes. That's more better. Written pristinely. Yeah. Alright, so my sun, moon, rising, north node, Pisces, folk, my fellows, my fellows, what's up Pisces, I know y'all very well, my person knows y'all very well, alright, so Pisces, just as a reminder, what we're doing when we are reading Menduna Tear, is we're focusing on the tree of life within you, right? You see that big tree of life, it has the various spheres on it, right? Those spheres correspond to an aspect of God. Will you stop putting stuff in your mouth, Toby, please? Thank you. Yeah, did you see that? Uh, aspect of... No, oh no, that was something else. <laughs> I thought I said something about mouth. Yeah. Yeah, man. Alright, so yeah, the aspects of you can be identified in that tree as well. So this is something that actually proves the synonymity, if that is a word, is that a word, the synonym, syn, synonymity, the sameness of what's going on out in the God spirit and what's going on in your spirit, right? So we're reading the tree of life within you. The various spirits of the tree of life that we see out in the world are the same things that we see here. So when we do Meduna Terra readings, we are doing a reading of your spirits. Okay? What's going to be more applicable than something else within your spirit, the cycle, you know, for whatever length of time we're talking about, right? Make sure you're getting your personal readings so we can hone that in for you, okay? All right, that said, let us begin. Ah, the scorpion is back. We had a scorpion for Gemini's reading. He just came and chilled. He sat for the whole reading. And then by the time I started talking about cancer, he got up and left. So we, I just saw him peek his head in here. So we're going to see how that's applicable. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Oh, wow. Bam. Osir Hetep. That's the second Osir Hetep reading I pulled today. Who was the other one? I forget who the other one was. Osir Hetep, yeah, Osir is heavy, this cycle for my folk, you know what I mean, Osir Hetep, this is a, okay, Dark the Sea sits on the bottom, so, hmm. yeah, so this is a high calling, this is a high reading, hmm. something else has dropped down also, well, we're not going to apply it because we got Hetep, this is our set temp, so yeah, so there's an, <clears throat> there's aspects of emotionalism going on in the background, there is aspects of you know, um, you know, negative, uh, you know, maybe ne negative spiritual activity, you know what I mean? But something is calling you to unify, unify your aspects, all right? Something going on in the background, you know, be it, you know, your own personal emotions, other people's emotions, right? You know, dark behaviors urge to involve yourself in dark behaviors you know all of that's being called to 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 rest in accepting this emotion of Osea which is unity right you have to unify you have to be at one with life at this point right you know you have to find the unity within things so watch it where you are involved in your preferences and your predilections your you know you know, I don't like this, I don't like that, I hate these people and these, you know, and, you know, I hate when such and such does this, it makes me sick. Watch that emotion, because that's going against your highest nature. You're, you're, you're at oneness with everything, right? Why at oneness with everything? Because, first of all, you know, Osir is God within, man, on earth, right? So, you know... God is in everything. God created everything 
from a portion of itself. Therefore, just reason it out. God is within everything. He's within, within every human. So where you are not at one, you are not as you should be. Where you are not unifying with others, you're not as you should be. So, you know, that's what's being called upon. You're being called upon to be in your unity. Functional, right? To be at one with everyone. To be at one with all. You know, to not have predispositions. And, you know, to get over your likes and dislikes. Yeah, I know you don't like the color blue, but get over it. You know, you know, it's more complicated than the color blue, right? But yeah, I don't. You know, I know you don't like these people, or you don't like this place, or you got a problem with this time, or whatever it is. You got problems. You got these issues, and these aren't your favorite things. Get over it. That's what life is saying right now. Let's talk to the Bagua. Straight. on the bottom. Straight. Open. Open. Straight. Open. Open. Okay. 51. 51st hexagram. Okay. Hexagram of shock. 51. Okay. So, oh, wait. Write the Osair down. Boy, you be talking sometimes. You gotta watch us. Me and all my spheres. Okay, so it's Osair Hetep 51. Okay, so that's a, that's a cool situation. So the 51 is where you have something that happens and it shocked you. You know, it's a shock to you. you but it's not necessarily a negative shock. Right? It's like, you know, someone comes up behind you and shoom, scares you. So it's like, ah! and then you laugh afterwards. Ha, 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 ha. You know, so that's, so that's not too alarming. It's not something that's too deep. Right? It's just a quick shock. Something, you know, so, so yeah. So you got to be, you gonna, something's going to happen. It's going to be a shock. You be Osir. You be neutral. You be in the middle. Right? You know, that's very simple. Very easy. Right? Very easy right that one there. You know, you're counseling to be, you're counseled to be Osir, to be in the middle, to be centered, right? Through a shock, right? And this could be a shock that if you deal with it in the wrong way, then it could be a negative thing. But this is 51, no line stress, turning into nothing else. That's a situation that's not going to be too bad. You know, you'll deal with the shock, you know, maybe you'll lose something temporarily, but you shouldn't, you know, don't worry about it. You won't get that back. It ain't a big deal. This is, a, this, is a, this is an okay circumstance. Not a big deal. Let's talk to the tarot. Let us talk to the tarot. Okay. Okay. The food. And the nine of pentacles. Not bad, not bad. Fool, it's new beginnings. Stepping off towards new beginnings. Optimistic. Maybe a bit foolish. Don't jump off no clips without looking. Make sure you're looking at what you're doing. <laughs> Make sure whatever you're involving yourself into, you're looking. But proceed with, you know, uh, courage. The courage to take a risk, right? Proceed with. You know what I mean? Optimism. You know? New beginnings. Nine of Pentacles. This presages good stuff. You know? Perhaps you will come into some money. You know? And be shocked about it. You'll be like, oh, what happened? You know what I mean? You know? <clears throat> okay. So, the council, deal with your Osir in order to get this. Right? Be Osir. If you can successfully face life in a neutral disposition, Going neither to the left nor to the right, shunning your normal predispositions, your normal likings and don't likings, right? Then perhaps there's a nine of pentacles at the end of, or somewhere within this cycle, you know, around the new moon, possibly, I mean, the full moon, possibly. 
right? This is new moon energy, y'all. So all of this is starting tonight. So the counsel is get your old ser meditation on. Chant om. Chant om. Center yourself daily, right? You know, center yourself daily within that amen, I mean that oser, right? And prepare yourself for this. This is good stuff coming, right? So do the work. That's it, Pisces. That's it, all right? We have traveled all the way through, all right? So yeah, man, we're going to say peace, love, much success, many good vibes, and yeah, we're going to come back and do it again. You know how we do it. All right, y'all? Peace.